Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be playing with the Wicked Widow, the Crow Palette. This comes out on May 17th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I am feeling so lucky and happy to have this in my hands because you guys, it is the 30th anniversary of the original Crow movie. I only just recently found out there's like a million Crow movies, including one that had Edward Furlong in it. Like why, why does that even exist? Because it is the original that matters. It is the original with this beautiful man on it that came out in 1994 when I was a very impressionable little like young goth girl. They are coming out with a new movie with a scars guard in it, and it looks interesting. I will see it, but this one holds a very special place in my heart. So when I saw that Wicked Widow was coming out with this collection, I was so excited and so thankful that they sent over the palette. So let's take a look at this palette. The Crow palette has eight mattes, one shimmer, three multi-chromes, and four duo chromes. It is going to be $60 with the code WICKED. Hey guys, editing Linda here. So they were kind enough to give me actually my own discount code. So if you use my code glitter fallout, you will save money if you decide to purchase this order. Thank you so much to Wicked Widow for giving me an affiliate code. I'm so happy and back to the video. But these swatched out so incredibly beautifully. Like I was so impressed with these. The shimmers are next level. They are so shifty and so beautiful and they went on perfectly. The only shade that I had a little bit of trouble with building up was Trivial Things, which is the lightest shade in the palette next to the white, of course. Um, and I had a little bit of trouble building that up, but it still did build up over time. And I did use it in today's look and it did have an interesting turn. So I thought that was pretty cool. I am loving this look. We are going to be doing two looks with this palette. This is your first look. There will be timestamps down below. I did change out the lip just for doing this introduction here because I did have on a much more bold lip. There are lipsticks that came out with this collection. I did not receive them. So one of them was a black lip, which I tried in the next look, but I wanted to switch it out because I don't think I was properly warned about a very bold lip and Invisalign. It was disgusting. But I can't wait for you to see how each of these shades perform on their own as I'm doing the looks. So let's go ahead and jump into that very first look. Okay, we are going to do the first look. I have no other makeup on at all except for eyeshadow primer. I just used my Sigma eyeshadow base. And I feel like for this first look, like I keep, I can't stop staring at this color right here, which is called Visions. This is the one that shifts from like gold to red to whatever. So I think what I'm going to do, I definitely want a bit of Immortal in the crease. I'm gonna blend that out very lightly though. I wanna see if I can get this to go a little bit lighter. And I think I'll probably wind up blending that out with either trivial thing, probably trivial things. No, actually, no, I lied, Believe, which is the only kind of like real brown shade in here. Cemetery is also like a taupe color, but that has a little bit of, I, I guess you would call it a shimmer to me that looks like a satin. But anyway, I'm gonna blend that out. But Visions is what I want to be the star. I do want a very dark outer corner. I'm going to use one of the blacks. So that's why I have no other makeup on. I know it's probably gonna get messy, but... Oh, I'm very excited. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with that burgundy red and I'm gonna take this very lightly on my brush. These shades from the swatches, from what I could tell, were all very, very opaque and this is the first time I'm putting it on my eyes. So I'm gonna take this very lightly. You guys saw, I dipped once into the pan. Look at that pigment, look at that pigment. And I'm not worried about being messy because like I said, that's the reason why I am not wearing foundation yet or anything like that. Wow, these are so pigmented. You guys, I still definitely have some mainstream brands that I really love and I really, really enjoy, but I am so impressed with these more indie brands lately. Like they are stepping their game up when it comes to pigment. Now I did not dip back into the pan. This is literally one touch into the pan, knocking off all the excess and blending this out. And this is what it looks like. This is so beautiful. <laughs> I am going to take another fluffy brush. I think I'm gonna be using a lot of fluffy brushes and I can't tell whether I should blend it out with trivial things. You know what, I'm gonna go in with trivial things. This is a very, very, very light gray, very light. So I'm kind of hoping that this just blends it out and doesn't look muddy. Oh, I'm a little worried that's looking muddy. That might be my fault. <laughs> Actually, that's making it a little bit purpley up here. Do you see that? That's kind of making like a little bit of a purple gradient. I'm gonna put, keep putting this right on the edge and we'll see where it goes. 
that's really cool. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. But it definitely did make a sort of purple vibe. That's really pretty. Okay, so I am going to recreate this on the other eye. All right, now that that is on, I'm gonna go in with the black and I have a feeling I'm gonna be touching up the black, but I'm gonna go in with Draven. So Draven is like not the deepest black. Crow is the deepest black. This one is just like a step away from black and I'm using my Singe Beauty EO2 brush. This has like a bit of firmness to it. I'm tapping off all the excess and this is gonna go right on the outer corner. I wanna build this up so I'm starting off small, but again, starting off small equals like instant black eyeshadow. So keep that in mind. This palette is like making me relive my little baby bat days, you know, wandering around a mall in New Jersey, waiting for someone to call me a freak. So stupid. So I will be going back under the eye with a bunch of different colors, but I am ready, okay? I want to go in with this sparkle. So I'm taking a little bit of NYX glitter glue onto my brush and I'm patting that like all the way up, not quite a cut crease, but this is gonna go on two thirds of the lid. Again, I'm probably gonna have to go back and touch up some of those colors, but I am going into what I think is going to be the absolute star, which is Visions. This has significant gold and red and orange sparkle. I'm just patting this all over the lid. This is a very glittery shade, which I am digging right now. Oh, this color is so special. I will say, because this one sort of feels a little bit like a pressed glitter, even though it's not, it's not a pressed glitter, but because it sort of feels that way, just be gentle when you're pressing your brush into it because I feel like if you press too hard, it could get crumbly. It hasn't for me yet, but just keep that in mind. This color is so damn cool. Oh my gosh, it is so fiery. Also guys, I don't know if it's because I'm sort of starting out small and then building up, I have very little fallout. I was expecting a ton. Now there might be more because I am going back in again with that black as I wanna blend that in a little bit. But like, ooh, it's not too bad. That's a harsh line. We're gonna, don't worry, we're gonna fix it. I'm going in and I'm actually changing the shape a bit. I want this to be more like out, uh, like in a V, like a little bit more of a sharp edge but I'm still kind of keeping the overall shape, but just fixing it a little. And again, this will look messy before it looks great. <laughs> All right, I am feeling really good about this so far. So what I'm going to do, I am going to hop off camera and I am going to clean up and I'm going to do my base and I'll be right back. We're gonna finish up the under eyes. So I apparently wasn't recording that whole time. So let me tell you what I did. I took my little fan brush. This is from Fancy Cosmetica. This is the EO4 and I dipped into Draven. And the way that I like to use this brush is I connected the outer corner to under the eyes. It has this great fan shape that allows you to kind of press in. So I was also able to deepen up the outer corners. And then I took a much fluffier brush and went back into Immortal and ran that right underneath of the dark black. So you can barely see it, but it just gives that like hint of a redness so that it ties the look together. And then I took Shelly onto my um, highlighter brush and really took only a little bit and buffed it in. So this does have a definite kind of green tone to it but I think it somehow still works. It's beautiful though. It just kind of blends into the skin. I'm really happy with that. It looks really cool. So I'm going to hop off camera and finish up the rest of this look. I'm gonna finish up the eyes, put something on the lips and I'll be right back. All right, here is the first look with the Crow palette. So this was also my first time trying to apply a bold liquid lipstick with Invisalign. That was a task. Look, I still have it everywhere, you guys. <laughs> This is so difficult. Oh my God, it's everywhere. Okay, so anyway, um, I did decide to do a bold black lip with this because there is a black lipstick that came with the collection. I did not receive it in PR, but I wanted to see how this would look with a black lip. Also, I feel like Brandon Lee would approve, but I love this. I love this. That red sparkle on the lid 
is so unique to my collection. It's not even funny. The way it shifts, it looks like pure fire. Like it actually looks like flames on my lid. Flames on the side of my face. I love it. Oh, by the way, the lashes I used are the BK Beauty Risa Does Makeup uh, Vegas lashes. And the lipstick I used is by Black Moon Cosmetics. It is Sleepwalker. And I dabbed a tiny bit on top of Mystery from the Lost Library collection from Fantasy Cosmetica, just to kind of top it off. But I really, really, really love this look. I think this is so much fun. I think it is spooky ooky, and I really wanted to test these reds, and I think I got to really test them. Like, I feel like I need to wear this to a club now or something. Oh my God, this is all over my teeth. Anyway, we are going to do a second look. I'm gonna give my eyes a little bit of a break. I'm gonna take this off, give my skin a little bit of a break, and we are gonna be back with the second look, which is gonna be like one second for you. So here we go. All right, we are back and we are going to do a second look with the Crow palette. I'm thinking that today, for today's look, I wanna be a little bit more, I don't wanna say neutral because this is obviously not a neutral palette, but I think I'm going to stick more to the colors. Like for example, I wanna use Believe, which is a very cool tone brown. I might wanna use a bit of Cemetery. So Cemetery is the shade that again, I think that this is the one they define as a shimmer, but it is a very like satin type shade. It does have a slight sheen, but it is not shimmery. I'm probably gonna use some of Trivial Things. I wanna use a little bit of Shelly. And then for the sparkle, I, oh gosh, what stinks is I feel like I should use one of these, but like Vengeance is the coolest shade because it is just, let me see if I can show you up close. This is Vengeance right here and you can maybe see that there is just like rainbow sparkles in there. It's so pretty. But I have to admit for this one, I'm sort of leaning more towards Gabriel, which is right here. This is like, oh, it's it's almost like a taupey sparkle, but it looks like it's kind of an intense sparkle. So I'm going to start by taking a fluffy brush and I do wanna start with Believe. This is the color I'm curious about. It Again, with their shadows, I dipped into the pan like once and I'm tapping away all the excess. I already, by the way, have my base on today. So I have just a, um, a light, like slip, I have the say slip tint, excuse me, I have concealer. I did put on blush, I put on a little bit of bronzer, I put something through my eyebrows and an eyeshadow base. Um, just cause I didn't feel like doing it more than once and I still have residue from yesterday's lashes. Okay, so I'm going to start by tapping this on. Yeah, this is like a very cool toned gray. This is not gray, brown. This is a nice color though, I have to say. I am dipping back into the pan, but I do, I like colors like this. Like this is one that you could put all over the lid as a one and done. But like I said, I'm not gonna call this, it, it has, I'm hesitant to call this look neutral, but it's definitely gonna be probably a little more chill than yesterday. Watch me say that and wind up with something like over the top. <laughs> My stomach is growling so loud right now and I have no idea why, because I ate breakfast, what the hell? Oh, I really, really like this color. This is just a very easy color. Also, I didn't talk about this when I was doing yesterday's look, which was the red look, but when this new crow comes out, if the soundtrack does not have as much thought put into it as the 1994 soundtrack did, I am going to be so upset. The number of songs that were on there, like that was one of those albums that I would listen to front to back. It has The Cure, it has Nine Inch Nails. It's so good and it perfectly like embodied the vibe. And I really, really, really hope that they pay attention to the soundtrack on this one. Okay, I'm happy with where that is. I'm going to take a blending brush and go back into Trivial Things. This is that very light gray that almost turned purple in the other look but I'm hoping maybe it can blend it out. It's so funny that I use this in both looks. I think it's because this is a color I want to work. It is the lightest matte shade in the palette and I want this to work, you know, because it, it has a little bit of trouble showing up, um, I feel like. But I think it's doing a nice job of kind of blending that out. Oh, you can definitely see that it's blending it out, but it's just such like a, um, such a low key color. I'm gonna to touch up a little bit more of Believe so we don't lose the brown tones. All right, for the outer corner, I'm going into Iron Gates. This is just a gray, like there's no other way to describe it, but it does not lean towards black, which I feel like a lot of the grays in here do. I'm just packing this right on that outer corner. Oh, that's a pretty, pretty color. Ooh, that is, see, this is so like, beautifully, beautifully pigmented. 
and I am tapping off my brush before putting it on my face each time, but I have zero fallout so far. The only fallout I'm seeing is a random rogue red sparkle from yesterday's look. Okay. That's super pretty. I'm actually going to put some iron gates under the eyes as well. I really like this color, this like matte slate gray. As usual, I'm taking a bit of NYX glitter glue and putting that like a little more than half, not quite two thirds, but a little more than half. And then I am going to dip into Gabriel. So this is like a proper silver, but it also has like a tiny bit of taupe vibes to it, if that makes sense. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. It's looking like straight silver on the eyes, if I'm being honest. That is beautiful. You know what I'm gonna do though? I think I have to. I'm gonna take a little bit of vengeance, just a little bit. Now keep in mind, like I said, these are not pressed glitters, but they are softer. So careful when pressing your brush into them. But I do wanna take that one that has the multicolor sparkles and pat that in the middle. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Now I do have the tiniest bit of fallout from the sparkles, but these are so intense that that's almost to be expected. But I love this combo. This combo is so pretty and it's like, it's not too intense, right? Because I feel like this is something that you could wear to like a wedding or something like that if you wanted to. Once again, putting a good amount of NYX glitter glue. Start with, oh, I felt that hit my face. Start with Gabriel. And then going back in with Vengeance for the center. Oh, I love this. <laughs> I love this. It's so funny to me how every single time I'm editing, the number of times that I will have to edit out me just going like this, hmm, oh, hmm, like things like that. Oh my God, it's ridiculous. So I am taking a little angled brush and going into Crow. Crow is a very matte black, black, black. And I'm gonna use this as my liner right against the lid here. I don't feel like doing a full liner today, but I do want there to be like a little bit of kind of deepness on the outer edge. That's looking very unblended. Why is that? All right, so I'm gonna hop off camera and I'm going to finish the rest of this look. I'm keeping it again, fairly simple and I'll be right back. And we're gonna talk about this palette overall. All right, here is the second and final look with the Wicked Widow Crow palette. I don't know how I'm feeling about the rest of my makeup. I know I love these eyes and we're gonna get into that. But for the lips, I just did a BK Beauty lip liner and some like clear gloss over top, like a clear sparkly gloss. And for my blush, I used uh, something sweet from the Beauty and Beast Sigma palette. Um, and it's okay, it's okay. I don't know what, what what's like throwing me off. I think the blush is throwing me off to be honest, but I love these eyes. I would wear these, I will wear these to an event coming up. I'm dead serious. And I put a little pop in the corner of Shelly, which is the sparkly uh, white that has like a definite blue green shift. I put that on the inner corner. I think this looks beautiful. I really think it looks beautiful. And like, it's one that anybody can do, which I feel like is really cool. So let's talk about how I feel about this palette. I love this palette. I love this palette. I love it, I love it, I love it. So the quality is leaps and bounds above what I was expecting. And that is not a knock on Wicked Widow or anything like that. But I was expecting this to be a fun palette to play with. I was not expecting the quality to be this good. It is so intense. Every color is intense and beautiful. That being said, if you are somebody who is a beginner to makeup, this might be a little difficult to work with because the pigments are so intense. I believe, yeah, they even call this a pressed pigment palette. So an eyeshadow palette is one usually that you can shear out and you can tell like, look, this is like a soft gray up here. So you can shear it out, but the pigments are very intense on this, which is something I appreciate and I personally love, but it can be like a little bit more intense looks. Like you're not going to get a whole lot of very neutral looks with this. You are gonna get spooky ooky ooky. You are gonna get a look that Brandon Lee, Trent Reznor and Robert Smith would all approve of. And to be honest, are we really looking for approval from anybody in this world besides Brandon Lee, Trent Reznor and Robert Smith? I'm just saying, maybe Susie Sue, maybe Susie Sue. <laughs> 
But is this something that you're looking to pick up? Did you love the original movie? Will you see the remake? Will you see the remake? Let's talk about that. But thank you so much to Wicked Widow for sending this to me. I love this. Is this maybe gonna become one of my favorite palettes of the year? It's very possible. I really, really enjoy this. I had a lot of fun playing with it. So please, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up for my eyeballs. Yesterday I did seven eyeshadow looks. There's only one happening today and this is it. But yes, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments. You all can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars. And remember, it can't rain all the time. Can't rain all the time. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. And I love you with my whole heart. I didn't say that. I love you so much. Bye.